All right, guys, we are here at the Mabuhay Squad Farm. <laughs> the dogs already know that we're here. Like, they're so eager to jump out that door. <laughs> like, as we were pulling in, they jumped out and like begged to be picked up because they know we're heading out. And Mabuhay Squad, I can't wait to see what our updates are. This is gonna be fun. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. All right, Mabuhay Squad, here we are. First things first, taking the dogs to the pee pee area. Let's go pee, Sahara. By the way, if you're new to the vlogs, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos. Behind me is RJ Garcia. These are our two dogs. And we are here at our future home. We call it the Mabuhay Squad Farmhouse. We'll be moving here full time when it's all done, hopefully by the end of the year. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit the subscribe button. Come join the Mabuhay Squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. All right, go pee, go pee. Go pee, Sahara, go pee. Go pee, good girl. Guys, the avocado plants are still here and leaves are still hard. Can't wait to plant these today. We forgot to plant them the last time we were here last week. Whoa, look at all those wirings, RJ. Holy, that's like spaghetti. Our fridge will be going in this area. <laughs> the dogs just love running around. Sarah, come. Yes, you like it here? This is our home. Mm -hmm. You like it, guys? <laughs> See, guys, the, I guess, framework for the ceiling is now up, even in the studio room. See that? Good girl, lots of water. Drink, drink, drink. Size, drink water. Gotta hydrate. Yes. <laughs> We're now going over security cameras, where they'll be placed, and alarm system. This is an important meeting, so I'll be back after this meeting, guys. They're now making additions to the aviary. Look at how beautiful the light shines in from the aviary. So nice. And like, see with these um, scaffolding, it causes some really nice shadows on the floor. So when we have actual foliage and like plants and epiphytes and like driftwood, you know, spiraling up through here, the way I see it in my head, um, I think it'll cast some really beautiful shadows and shapes. Um, onto the bottom of the aviary. It really looks like peeking through a canopy, like through a jungle canopy. Ooh, love it. So for those of you who are new, this aviary will be for birds. I'm thinking really small birds um, and a few of them flying around. Not sure what species yet, possibly parrots. I was thinking finches because they're small and you know, like cute, but I heard they breed really fast. So I'm not sure, I, I have to still decide. Or it could be maybe one or two g really giant birds like macaws or something. We'll see. The thing is we made sure to get double paned glass for, you know, soundproofing <laughs> in case we do have noisy birds. So that should be cool. And you know, the thing about this aviary too is I was like, oh, RJ, we forgot to incorporate a skylight into our home. You know, I've always dreamed of having a home with a skylight. In the home I grew up in, in Toronto, it didn't have a skylight. And I always used to like envy my friends who had skylights in their homes. It's kind of like a luxury thing. I don't know, I'm not sure. In my mind it was. But then I realized we actually do have a skylight. It's the aviary um, and it's a big skylight. You know what I mean? So that's, that's really good. And um, any kind of UV that kind of shines down and bounces off the water, I think will be really good for our sleep, right? It's stimulating our pineal gland, helping us sleep at the right time and wake up at the right time. So it's, it's really great. And it's also a great change from where I'm currently living because at the condo, we just have the windows, the small, you know, windows in the living room and um, in the ant room to really give us the environmental cues for our sleeping pattern and circadian cycle, etc. It's not very much natural light. So I'm happy that all of this natural light will be coming in. And of course, the advantage of natural light is we can vlog and it will look better on, <laughs> on camera. See, like usually at my place, it's super dark and our vlogging camera has to adjust, but the quality of the picture is compromised when it adjusts to that low light. But here, look, no lights, just natural outdoor lighting. And no matter where I turn, it looks decent. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> Sorry guys, I'm like experimenting with lighting. Lots of places to vlog here. I could always vlog near a window. See, like, like so good lighting. So we made sure the home would be vlogging friendly, I suppose. Because as you know, RJ and I do these daily vlogs to keep connected to you guys because you guys are our family online. So we plan on continuing to do that even while we're living here. Although I was thinking about like, what happens if we have kids? Like how will that change things, I wonder. I'm sure all those family vloggers, some of which are my friends, get a lot of slack for, you know, vlogging their family life and kids' life. Although I know, I'm sure they don't vlog everything, but it, for security, I, I wonder how RJ and I are gonna navigate through that. Like, of course, we will be so happy to be proud human parents one day if the universe so chooses and we'd be happy to share our family life with you guys just like a lot of family vloggers do um but again it's it's a matter of like security too um we could blur out our kids faces but i don't know maybe not and then imagine growing up as kids in a vlogging family setting <laughs> Where like a bunch of strangers know who you are and like watched you grow up. That's another thing too. I don't know. We'll see. We'll tackle that bridge when we get there, right Mabuhai Squad? Speaking of security guys. So I uploaded a vlog uh, a few days ago about, you know, our thoughts on um, hiring a security team. Maybe one or two security guards to come and watch our property. Thank you guys for watching that vlog, by the way, if you did. A lot of you could see my point and understood. Um, but, you know, as expected, I there were a few comments like saying that it was completely unnecessary. Who does this Mikey think he is? He's, if he were to come to the US, no one would know him. He's not famous. There are A-list celebrities who don't have security. And wait, hold up. First of all, <laughs> Addressing the first point, if you think only famous people need security, you're wrong. Anyone can need security. It could be religious leaders, it could be politicians, it could be anyone in the public eye, even if you're not in the public eye. Even if you're someone just kind of who hides out, or out in the background, who, you know, might be the owner of something valuable. There is just so many different kinds of people and situations that require security. So, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna say about that. And it also, if you think that only famous people get robbed or held up or killed, again, you're wrong. People's houses get robbed all the time whether or not they are public figures or famous or even famous in a, in another country like do you think only um, people who are A-list celebrities in the United States get robbed? No. <laughs> Clearly you don't know what the Philippines is like. Um, in this country houses get broken into, people get held up for ransom, like just random things guys. You can't be too careful. And then also, aside from that, whatever the case, even if it is extreme, you know, precautions that RJ and I are going to take, isn't it a great thing to um, give more employment to people, especially in this time of pandemic? Isn't it? That's not a bad thing. Hey, if, if no one ever c comes close to our property or even thinks of breaking in or harming us or our team or even our pets who knows whatever um, their motive might be if that never ever happens isn't it a great thing that we allow a security guard to earn a living for him and his family and his kids they can eat um, income that Archie and I have worked hard for right and can afford um, isn't it great that we've helped them find an abundance financial and otherwise for their own family. I think so. I I see no bad about that. So in the end, obviously, it's our choice whether we get security for our Mabuhay Squad farm lot, which is almost 4,000 square meters. Oh no, guys, it's over 4,000 square meters. It's like 4,200 square meters, something like that, which is a big amount of space. Um, and yeah, it's our choice. We're probably going to get it and we're going to help a security guard have employment in fact this home an entire farm project in my mind is a fountain of abundance for a lot of people obviously all of these workers they have families to feed as well 
they're getting paid when the house is comp like and our interior designer earns from this all the various teams uh, those who are working on the pool those who are working on security those who are working on the smart system solar panels all of that money gets disseminated to feed the thousands of people who need income and that's how i see it i like to see the universe as a flow of good and abundance so if it can flow through rj and i to other people we'll do it yeah rj and i will collect on that good karma and like that's just the way the universe works the universe just continues to shower you if you become a sprinkler of abundance for other people so i have no qualms or queries about helping others have work etc we also will be having more staff obviously living here at the lc will have to help us hire new help staff and she'll have to train them and now at the lc who's been so faithful and loyal and awesome all these eight or nine years that i've been working with her will be the boss <laughs> she's gonna be calling the shots training the new staff we'll have likely a gardener who will come in and help us garden and help us farm um, I look forward to co collabing with agricultural companies and consultation companies to teach us how to farm. Like it's just a never ending flow of growth and abundance and flowing of good from one person to the next. That, that's a better way to see things as opposed to who does this Mikey think he is? He's got all of this money to dispose. He should use it and give it to the poor. And that's another topic, by the way. RJ and I do help the poor. We have our own advocacies. We just don't vlog it. And it's not the clout that we're willing to use to draw viewers. That's not our type of channel. But yeah, we are helping other people through, the, through our activities in that way. So I don't know, it's all in how you perceive things, I guess. Guys, I'm so excited. From this angle, you can see the three bunches of bananas. I believe there's a fourth somewhere, but I can see three here. See it? See it there? Peeking off the corner there? The next is right there. See that beautiful bunch of bananas? We've been watching it grow from just a banana flower. And the other one, it's just, it's literally behind this leaf. It's all growing there. See that? Guys, let's say hi to Legaisis, our late African gray parrot. Oh, hey Legaya. There's the basket from the flower bouquet or flower arrangement we put here last time we were here for her birthday. We really miss her. When all the work in the house is done, we're definitely gonna put like a, a beautiful statue or a tombstone to commemorate her. She was like our child, guys, <gasps> strangely. For those of you who aren't really bird people, we treated her like our child. And in fact, she was the one who pushed us to go start looking for properties so we could move into a bigger home so that she could, you know, have more space to fly around and be a bird. Um, because I just, it didn't feel right keeping her in a condo. Even though, um, based on my research, um, you know, there are many sources out there that say African greys make good apartment birds. Well, in my experience, this is just my experience, no, they don't. Um, especially if you're going to free fly the bird. Um, several reasons. One, because if your apartment, it doesn't get a lot of natural sunlight, you're already at a disadvantage. Your bird will have a very confusing biological cycle, like seasonal cycle, where their body will be confused. Okay, is it molting season where I drop my feathers or is it like breeding season where I have to eat a lot? You know, and it's just, it's so confusing for the bird. Also, obviously there isn't enough space. I had to fly Ligaya up and down my hallway outside of my condo. Um, and if you're in a building that doesn't allow that kind of thing, that is not cool with that kind of thing, it, it just won't work. Um, also in terms of sound, in case you don't know, the parrots need like 12 hours of undisturbed sleep. So if you're like RJ and I, where like we spend most of our time downstairs where the bird's cage is, we literally had to be super quiet like after a certain time after she's put to bed so she could get her 12 hour sleep otherwise it can lead to health problems um and like, we just simply didn't have anywhere else to go other than our bedroom which we did but we also needed to do work right so we couldn't just do all of our work from the bedroom so yeah um we found out very quickly 
that keeping an African grey parrot in a condo is not easy and as, as a former African grey owner, I don't recommend it at all. Wait till you're moving to a house, honestly. Alright guys, positive affirmation time for Wednesday, July the 28th. When a challenge arises, I say, out of this situation, only good will come. I am safe. There you go guys. Hope you enjoyed today's positive affirmation and say this and feel all the words if you are currently going through a challenging time in your life. Say it. Out of this situation, only good will come. I am safe. Hope you enjoyed today's positive affirmation. The dogs are being walked. Did you guys enjoy walking around the block? Are you guys tired now? Huh? <laughs> this is your neighborhood. Your new neighborhood. They love it. They're smelling goats. They're smelling other dogs, cows, grass, all of that. Guys, let's go see Billy, our goat. Speaking of other animals. Billy!